Okay. When I think of GMOs, it seems to me that there's a couple different categories. One, where the seeds have been genetically altered to either make them grow in a colder climate, warmer climate, whatever, and two, um, making them Roundup ready. Is there a difference between the two in terms of what the health effects might be? Do we know anything about how our body reacts to something that's been genetically altered versus taking in the Roundup slash glyphosate? Good question. So first of all, the current traits don't aren't cold tolerant or, or warm tolerant. They're either Roundup ready or, or tolerant to other herbicides, or they produce their own insecticide called Bt toxin. I'd say 99.9% of all the GMOs that are grown are either herbicide tolerant or pesticide producing or both. Mm -hmm. Then you have some zucchini, yellow squash, and papaya from Hawaii or China that resist uh, disease from a certain virus. Mm -hmm. And then you have non-browning pre-sliced apples and potatoes that are engineered to not brown. Mm -hmm. And then in, in Canada, they're selling genetically engineered uh, salmon, which is grows faster and comes to market quicker, mm. sort of this frankenfish. So if something is sprayed with Roundup, then you get both the effects of the Roundup plus the process of genetic engineering. And not a lot of studies have been done to tease apart what the difference is. One study was done by Seralini and his team in France, and they fed uh, rats for their entire life genetically engineered Roundup Ready corn that had been sprayed with Roundup. And they got the multiple massive tumors, early death, organ damage compared to the control. So very serious problems. Uh, cancer and death, I mean, or tumors and death, serious problems. But another feeding group was fed the Roundup in the drinking water, but they didn't have the corn. And they got multiple massive tumors, early death, and organ damage. You think, aha, it's the Roundup. But another group ate the corn that had never been sprayed with the Roundup, same corn, and they got multiple massive tumors, early death, and organ damage. So individually and together, they were very seriously dangerous. Now, if you look at just the characteristics of Roundup, they're quite serious. Uh, the World Health Organization declared its active ingredient, glyphosate, as a probable human carcinogen and acknowledged that it was a carcinogen to animals. They didn't declare it as a definite carcinogen to humans because they didn't have any human clinical trials where people are voluntarily sure. taking Roundup, which has some moral implications. Um, they, we have a lot of epidemiological evidence supporting that, and we understand some of the mechanisms. It causes oxidative stress, it causes mutations in human DNA. Uh, it also is an antibiotic, and it kills more easily the beneficial gut bacteria in the gut, not the salmonella, botulism, and negative E. coli, the nasty stuff that can cause problems. It's also a teratogen, meaning it's linked to birth defects. It also is an endocrine disruptor, and it also can chelate minerals, making them unavailable, which can shut down certain metabolic pathways. It's also suppressed digestive enzymes and damaged the gut walls, creating leaky gut. It's also uh, damaged the microvilli. I mean, there's all sorts of things that it does, and if you put them all together, it basically attacks nearly every system in the body. And it was declared by Monsanto to be safer than table salt. Um, and it's uh, someone who was touting that, how safe it was, who was a pro-GMO person, was asked on camera, would you like to try some? I have some right here. He says, I'm not an idiot. <laughs>